Business First Look, brought to you by Southern Colorado Business Forum and Digest. Thank you for watching. If you are a business owner, this is for you, but this is really a conversation that pretty much anyone can learn something from. Today's Business First Look, we have Carrie Siggins here. Carrie is a CEO, an author, a podcast host, also speaks at a lot of different events. So Carrie, I know you are a busy lady, so thank you so much for being here. First, we wanna talk about your book, Ownership Mindset. Tell us what that's about. So the, the book is part memoir, part leadership book, part how to build a great company. Uh, I came to Stone Age when I was 28 and I had never run a company before, but I had the opportunity to do so. And over the last 18 years, we have built this incredibly high performing, unique culture based on ownership thinking and being an employee owned company. And so I wanted to share what we, uh, what we have done to build this great company to inspire other business owners, business leaders to do and the same. This is something you speak a lot about, especially at different events, helping leaders try and build their companies and creating kind of a certain culture in their workplace. Exactly. So I get asked all the time, how do we build a culture like you have? Right. People who really enjoy their work, they're so engaged and they think like owners. And so I get that question asked so often I decided that I would speak about it and try to help companies be able to do the same. And so you were only 30 years old when you became the CEO of Stone Age, which is an industrial cleaning company, but talk about what you did with it and kind of what that workplace is like right now. Sure, so um, we've scaled the company dramatically and I took over for the two founders. Uh, we make industrial cleaning equipment, high-tech squirt guns on steroids, uh, and and we've done a couple of really interesting things. We've disrupted our industry multiple times uh, through business model transformation, through uh, technology development. We're an engineering company at heart, but we've done it with by building this fantastic culture. We put our people first, and when you put your people first, they'll put put the, your customers first mm -hmm. because they care more deeply. And so, yeah, so we've we've grown, we've, we have offices all over the world. We're based in Durango, yeah. uh, so which is an interesting place to have a headquarters and it's just been so much fun scaling the company. And I think that's a goal a lot of business owners probably strive to have a workplace like that. So what different yes. tips would you give to some business owners who are watching? Sure, so a lot of people ask me, how do we, how do we inspire ownership thinking, if, yeah. even if we're not an employee-owned company? And I always say ownership is a mindset. Yeah. We own things that we don't care about, and we also care deeply about things that we don't own. Think about our communities. And so you don't have to have tangible ownership to create mm -hmm. that. So the foundation is built on trust. How do you build trust with your employees? If you want them to go the extra mile, they have to trust. They have to trust what you say. Mm -hmm. You have to be transparent. You have to invest in their development, and when they know that you care, they'll care. Yeah, and it, it leads to, uh, of course, positive changes in the company yes. like you have seen yourself. Yes. And talk about the different events that you are a part of. You speak so often. Talk about the different um, audiences that you uh, typically speak to. So I speak at conferences and corporations yeah. mostly. Um, I love speaking in companies. That's my favorite thing to do <laughs> because people are, they, they, they are so hungry yeah. for this type of culture and this type of engagement. So I really enjoy speaking, uh, speaking to companies, but conferences are great too it's you know anywhere where where people are looking to make an impact within their organization then I'm happy to Come and talk. And I also want to know about your podcast because this is something that anyone can listen to. Yes, I have a podcast called Reflect Forward Conversations on Leadership. And uh, I do solo episodes and I also interview amazing leaders who are doing all kinds of great things to help advance cultures and, and engagement throughout organizations. Well, Carrie, we appreciate you being here so much. Is there anything else that you want to share with everyone watching? I, no, I just really appreciate the support. Yeah. And if you're interested in the ownership mindset and how to install that in your company, please check out my book. All right, Carrie, well, thank you so thank much. You. We appreciate you watching yeah. Business First Look. This has been Business First Look with host Dirk Hobbs, brought to you by Southern Colorado Business Forum and Digest.